Are you looking for a system that will descale your tankless water heater and it just requires minimal maintenance? To watch today's video, I think I have an answer for you. Today, I'm going to install a Nuvo water heater system. What Nuvo is, is a citrus based system. It, uh, what it does is the water comes in through the system, into the cartridge, and out. And as it goes out, it's bringing the citrus with it. The citrus is designed to break down the scale. Now this isn't a softener, it's just a conditioner. So as it goes through, the way it breaks down the scale is it leaves the minerals in the water, but it's not able to bond together. So like if you have a faucet, you turn the, turn the wand upside down, you see all the scale on it that's built up, or on a shower head. That's the scale that's caking up. This system won't allow that to do it. And over time, it'll clean it, and it'll maintain it. And that's what we're wanting to do with this tankless water heater. Um, as it goes through, it'll go through the system, and over time it'll clean the, the heat exchanger, and then it'll maintain it and keep it clean. And that's what the system is designed to do, and we're going to install one today, and we're going to show you how easy it is to put it in. The other way to clean a water heater is to have it flushed. And that system requires a bucket, a pump, vinegar, or some other descaling detergent. Uh, that will go through the heat exchanger, you uh, have to disconnect stuff or go into bypass, go through roughly about a 45 minute to hour flush and what that does is circulate the vinegar or the other chemical through the heat exchanger removing the, uh, the scale. I want to get away from that. I don't want to annually have to do this. A lot of people don't know that over the time your, your water heater efficiency will go down because of that scale because the heat exchanger has to create more heat and it, it has to go through that thermal layer of uh, mineral to get that water hot to the certain temperature so the sensor sees it and goes, okay, it's good enough. So that's what we're after. We want to make sure tankless water heater is working efficiently and it lasts a long time. We don't want something to conk out in a number of years because of the upfront expense on a tankless water heater. So I'll show you how this works. There's an in and an out and how this works is as it goes through, it picks up the citrus, like I said before. Uh, but the nice thing about this is that because it's an annual uh, replacement on the cartridge, you just push up on the tab here, it's one quarter turn, and the cartridge is done. Chuck this cartridge, put the new cartridge in, and you're ready to go for another year. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the connectors and uh, show you how exactly I'm going to do mine. Your application might be different, but it's going to be roughly the same. Okay, so we have the system here, um, and the threads on this are three quarter. It's so it's three quarter in, three quarter out. And what I'm going to use uh, three quarter flex lines, and these can be found at a plumbing store, online, um, or whatever. So it's three quarter uh, female by female, and then I got 24 inch lines as well. So what we're going to do first is we're going to, we're going to take our thread tape. We're going to wind that, so go around three times left, roughly, at least minimum. So once that's done, you see it's got that uh, light blue. You squeeze it on one side and just ring it, and it starts to really get dark, and you're working that Teflon tape into the threads. And you can see it's actually worked into the threads, and it's a lot darker. And that means you've got it worked in, so it's ready to install. So I'll go ahead and go ahead and do the other one. And I use blue monster tape. It's a great tape, and just like that. And now we're going to install on both sides of the unit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the one in. And you have to be kind of careful uh, when you're using a metal uh, nipple like this, uh, brass or, or gal you don't want to use galvanized. Um, but you have to make sure when you start threading it, make sure it's not cross-threading because metal like a brass or whatever and against plastic will sometimes start to cut its own thread and, and it'll get off. So you go in really easy once it starts to thread. Tighten that up, and we'll do the other side. Kind of running it back and forth sometimes is required to find the thread. And then when you're doing this, you know, once you feel quite a bit of resistance, you don't want to just keep going and burying it. What that'll do is it'll expand this plastic, and sometimes you can get a fracture along here. So, you know, it's, it's more of a feel thing, but once you feel it's pretty darn tight, you quit. So now we've got our nipples on both sides. 
I'm going to take my flex lines and I'm going to go ahead and install these. I may have to take them back off once I get in there, but uh, I'm just going to put them on now since the area you're working on is it's actually kind of tight. Okay, so that's kind of weird, but that's the way it's going to go in. So I'm going to attach this to a, uh, a stud. Uh, if, you, if you only have one side to a stud, you can add a piece of wood or whatever, or like maybe even a, uh, a one by six and mount that to the wall so you can mount this on the uh, drywall or whatever you have to do, uh, just to make sure it gets secured. Okay, so here I am, I'm in the uh, water heater closet. Uh, that's one thing, the big advantage on tickless water heater. This is a guest house. You can sneak these water heaters into really tight spots where you can't put actually a, a tank water heater. So what we're gonna do is I got the water shut off to the unit. I'm gonna go ahead, shut the unit off itself. Now, when I disconnect, I know this is hard to see, but you can just trust me, this is, there's a shut off valve right here. And then there's a flex line, a stainless steel flex line going up to the water heater on the cold side. And that's the supply. Uh, I'm gonna disconnect that. And I'm actually gonna, I don't know how, the age on the flex line. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swap that out and replace it. So I don't have to worry about it leaking after the fact. Um, but when I disconnect this, I am going to get water out of the tank, um, so I have to deal with that. And what you're going to do is just either use a bucket or whatever. You are going to get a bit of water on the floor, but no biggie. It all cleans up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and crack this open. Water heat is off. The pressure is off by uh, opening the tap, uh, opening hot side to a faucet. Okay, so I'm going to get my little bit of water here. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Okay, so we got that. Um, now I'll probably go. Ahead, I'll just go ahead and drop off the top one too because it's probably holding water in it. There we go. And just uh, just double check. These can only go on the cold side. They can't go on the hot side because you'll be damaging any of the plastic and everything. You don't want to be running 130 degree water on that. So it needs to go on the cold side only. Got our Nouveau. The inlet side is on the right side. So we want to make sure that goes where it goes. And the other side is obviously the outlet. Now I want to install this back here against this double stud. Um, and it's easy to get to it. So I'm just going to kind of finagle that, get it where it needs to go, and kind of just screw that down onto the valve. And screw that up, and I'm going to tap that in right there. They supply two screws to come with the unit, so we're going to go ahead and just put those in. Okay, so that's nice and secure. I've, so I've got my inlets, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and tighten that up. Now, I'm going to take my outlet side and route that over to the water heater itself. Okay, so I have everything piped up. Again, the uh, cold's coming in, entering the right side of the Nouveau, and then exiting the left side, and then going to the water heater. So it's just making a, uh, a loop going through the Nouveau system itself. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the water on. Um, I'm going to make sure, double check, everything's good to go. This, this little lock right here, uh, the red, is going to ensure that the cartridge won't back off or you know once it's under pressure okay so just to go over when you change it what you'll do you'll shut off the water you'll go to a uh, hot tap turn it on it relieve all the pressure on the unit itself turn that back off because if you leave the faucet open it'll get air and it'll actually want to back feed water through so once you do that there's a red button on the top to remove any pressure but you've already done that but just in case you push that, it may give you a little bit of squirt of water just to let you know, okay, there's no more pressure on the line. Lift, turn, down, take your new one, 
and rotate and that, that's it. So that'll be just done annually. Okay, so right now we're going to go ahead and charge the system up. I'm going to ease the water on. I'm not going to just go, you know, hit the valve and just go full force. So we're just going to let it go through. Get through the system. Then you can hear it pressurize. What I'm going to do though is let this cartridge sit for roughly an hour so that the water can soak into the uh, cartridge and, uh, for, and the citrus. And I just don't want to just turn something on and just start flushing it through. So just let it sit and soak. And uh, once that's done, I uh, kick my water heater back on and I'll wait for an hour and then just go ahead and use it like regular. And in 12 months, we'll do it again. Like I said, I know the Nuvos work, so I'm very confident that this is going to take care of the descaling on the unit and, and also just for uh, also for the uh, dishwasher and the shower heads and the faucets and whatnot. So that's the system install and I uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, uh, please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, we always appreciate it. And thanks for watching DIY on the house.